By now I'm sure you have seen different types of Japanese teapots in some of our videos. You may be wondering what are these teapots and why are they different from what we consider normal teapots. In this video we're going to break down the differences between Japanese teapots and other type of teapots and talk about the benefits that you get by using them. Before we get started it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. We have hundreds of videos on all sorts of different topics related to Japanese green tea but for this episode we're going to focus on teapots specifically. Without further ado, let's get started. What are Japanese teapots? Japanese teapots simply refers to a teapot made in Japan, but in reality the definition is a bit more complex than that. We like to think of Japanese teapots as teapots that are specifically designed for Japanese green tea. We find that this definition helps us to establish the unique features and functions of a teapot that help brew delicious cups of Japanese green tea. There isn't just one Japanese teapot set that's best for all types of Japanese green tea, but rather a variety of different teapots, all of which serve different purposes and occasions. The teapots are also designed for different varieties of tea. Finally, it's important to clarify that the Japanese teapots we're going to be talking about are meant to work for all types of Japanese green teas, with the exception of matcha tea. Matcha tea is unique because it's a powdered tea and it doesn't require a teapot to prepare. It's simply mixed into water using a bamboo matcha whisk and a chawan matcha bowl. Leaf teas like Sencha require a different toolkit. The leaves need to be infused into water and then sifted out as they are poured. This is done with the help of a few important design features which we'll discuss later. What makes Japanese teapots different from western style teapots? The biggest difference between Japanese teapots and more western style teapots is the size. This is probably the most noticeable difference and there's a very important reason for it. When preparing tea using western style brewing, you use a lot of water and not very many tea leaves. This leads to a very weak, watery tasting tea. Japanese tea brewing uses far less water and far more leaves, and so the teapots are designed to accommodate this style of brewing. When it comes to brewing Japanese green tea, it's recommended to use five grams of leaves and 150 milliliters of water. This really concentrates the infusion, and rather than getting a larger quantity of watered down tea, you get a smaller amount of rich and flavorful tea. Once you get used to the flavor of this, it will be very difficult to go back to drinking the more watery, western style brewed teas. The second main difference is that most Japanese teapots are made out of clay. There is such a thing as a Japanese cast iron teapot called a tetsubin, but this is actually not recommended. The clay is the perfect material for brewing green tea. The teapot can be either glazed, which provides some neutrality and allows you to brew multiple types of Japanese green tea with one teapot, or it can be unglazed. With unglazed Japanese teapots, the tea is in direct contact with the clay which some claim softens some of the bitterness of the tea. The Japanese teapot can also be seasoned, meaning that it can absorb a certain amount of flavor over time, like a skillet. What are the different kinds of Japanese teapots? First, we have the Kyusu teapot. This is the classic and most iconic Japanese teapot. These teapots are made out of clay, usually either red clay or black clay, and they often have a side handle. This side handle has a few benefits. First, it allows the Japanese teapot to be poured with more refined movements. All it takes is a simple turn of the wrist to pour out the tea. Also, the side handle is hollow, so it stays cool to the touch, even when you fill it up with hot water. This allows you to hold and pour the teapot without getting burned, something that can be a problem with other types of teapots. Next, we have the Hohin teapot. This is one of the two Japanese teapots that are designed specifically for premium Japanese green tea. This teapot does not have a side handle, and it's meant to be held with three points of contact. When the tea master pours tea with a Hohin, she will have one finger on each side of the teapot, and one finger on top of the teapot. The finger position and porcelain design makes the Hohin teapot very similar to a Gaiwan, a lidded bowl specifically designed for gongfu brewing. This style of tea preparation is great for Chinese green teas, but a lot of Japanese green teas have smaller leaves, so it's tough to brew them without having all the leaves flow into your cup. If you're used to gongfu brewing and trying to make the transition to Japanese teapots, you may want to start with the Hohin. The preparation and pouring technique for this teapot will be most familiar for you. Next, we have the Shibori Dashi. The Shibori Dashi is another Japanese teapot designed specifically for premium green teas. The key design feature for this teapot is the fact that it has a very flat shape, which means more surface area at the base and a smaller capacity. This is ideal for the preparation of gyokuro, a tea known for its sweet and savory taste profiles. This savory or umami flavor is concentrated by preparing the tea with a high leaf to water ratio. The shibori dashi is designed to accommodate this higher leaf to water ratio. The tea master will load up the base of the teapot with leaves and then pour a very small amount of water on top. This produces a small quantity of dense gyokuro tea. Tea. This density weighs heavy on the palate and the texture of the tea is savored along with the taste. Finally, we have the Tetsubin. This is the Japanese cast iron teapot. The design is much more similar to that of a western teapot and as a result it comes with many downsides. First off, the Japanese cast iron teapot is much larger and heavier, which makes pouring less graceful, compared to the Kyusu teapot that can be poured with just a simple turn of the wrist. These graceful movements are integral to the preparation of Japanese green tea and they can be important when it comes to establishing a calming tea moment. A lot of Japanese cast iron teapots also come with a detachable metal
metal sifter, and this is not what you want. If you use a teapot like this, you might as well be using a tea strainer and a teacup to brew. We'll explore the reason for that next. What are the benefits of using a Japanese teapot? When it comes to brewing Japanese green tea, an important thing to keep in mind is that the tea leaves need plenty of space to open up and release their flavor into the water. The tea bag is the worst solution for this because it crams the leaves into a small space and gives them almost no room to expand. Slightly better is the tea strainer, which provides some room for the leaves to expand, but not nearly enough. When you brew Japanese green tea with a strainer, you will end up with a more watered down infusion and less of this rich and complex flavor. Unfortunately, many teapots recreate this effect by brewing the leaves inside a basket. This negates the positive benefits of the teapot that come by allowing the leaves plenty of room to unfurl. Because these clay teapots are designed with these wide bases, the tea leaves are able to swim around and this produces these rich, complex infusions. The leaves are then automatically sifted out with a built-in sifter as you pour. For this reason, you should always go for a teapot with a built-in filter, not a detachable one. How are Japanese teapots made? Because most Japanese teapots are made out of clay, they are made in the traditional style that involves the carving of clay around a pottery wheel. This pottery is producing clay tea cups, but the concept is the same. The most desirable type of clay in Japan comes from Tokoname, a small town in the main island of Honshu. This clay is the least porous, so it can hold water even when wet. Once the teapot has been shaped, it is then fired so the clay can harden. To make the red clay teapots, the firing process is done twice, and to make the black teapots, it's done three times. For this reason, all else being equal, black teapots tend to be more expensive. Where can you buy Japanese teapots? If you're looking to buy a Kyusu teapot, we have plenty to choose from on our website, neotees.com. Here are three basic types of teapots we offer. First, we have the red Tokoname Kyusu. This is the starter model of the Kyusu teapot. It comes with a built-in metal filter and a red glazed finish. This glazed design makes it suitable for all different tea types. If you're planning on having just one teapot and using it for multiple types of tea, this is a good one to start with. Next, we have the black Tokoname Kyusu. This one is great for more experienced tea drinkers. It's made from black oxidized clay, slightly glazed and fired three times. Because it's only slightly glazed, it could be seasoned for a particular tea type. The porosity of the clay is also thought to interact with the tea and reduce its bitterness. This teapot has a built-in clay filter because the metal filter is believed to have a subtle impact on the flavor, something that is sure to be noticed only by the true tea connoisseurs. Finally, we have the Fukumushi teapot. This is another specialist teapot. This one is made with a circular metal filter, making it perfect for fukumushi, or deep steam teas. During the longer steaming process, the cell membranes of the tea leaves are broken down, allowing more of it to flow into the cup. This produces an excellent flavor and color, but makes the tea leaves more brittle, so they can break into these smaller leaf particles. These leaf particles will clog up clay filters, but with a circular metal filter, the water can just move around and pour in. If you're planning on preparing a lot of fukumushi teas, you may want to invest in the fukumushi teapot. This will simply make your life much easier. Feel free to browse or select and see which Japanese teapot speaks to you. If you have any questions about teapots, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. It would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. But until then, we'll see you next time.